In some of my earlier videos, I showed how I could make a tapered bass chain whip that did a very nice job of, of uh, cracking, as you can see. You don't even really have to try to, uh, to get it to crack, and a very loud crack at that. I also found that most of that, in fact, almost all of the, of the crack was due to this cracker in combination with the chain. And being a chain, all that mass, it makes it crack very easily. Um, but without the cracker, it essentially gives you no crack. So I wanted to experiment a little bit, but I needed to have a consistent way to operate the whip if I'm going to compare cracker designs. I'm not a pro, as anybody who's watched my videos could tell. So I said, well, let me see if I can make a whip cracking machine. So I made a, a similar chain whip. That's this here, and uh, got this 2x6, did all kinds of things with it, made a mechanical arm with rubber bands and other things. I could not get it to do any kind of a decent job of cracking. So I temporarily have given up on that. So I decided to try something very simple. I simply took that other taper mass chain whip, attached gum rubber tubing to it, and hook one end of the tubing down to a hook on the bottom. This end up at a nail I drove in that board at the top, and I'll have a little trigger, and we'll see how that cracks. I think you'll find it cracks very well, and uh, let's take a look at it. One thing to keep in mind with this arrangement, normal bullwhip or stock whip or whatever, there's really no stored energy in it. You have to actually move it to get it to uh, do something. With this, with that gum rubber tubing, stretched to the max there there's a lot of stored energy so it is dangerous at this point so anyway we've got it all hooked up i got my paracord hooked up to a ring up there at the top and we're going to pop it loose and see what it does as you can see makes a really nice loud crack so we're going to try that in slow motion Okay, we're going to take another look at normal speed. And again, let me remind you that uh, there is a lot of stored energy in the uh, gum rubber tubing. Um, so you got to be very, very careful. So now what I'm going to do, uh, since I already know the previous work that without the cracker, you don't get much of a crack. I can now make consistent cracks with this apparatus. I'm going to do some experiments and zero in a little bit on what makes a good cracker. So, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like the video and subscribe. Thank you.